the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. tonight some of us came with sicknesses in our bodies some of us came with all kinds of depression demonic challenges some of us just came to press koinonia to press for more hallelujah but it doesn't matter what what brought you I'd like you to know that this is part of the experience. Every time we worship him, we're not just singing choruses. Hallelujah. is a response to a dimension of him. Hallelujah. I'd like you all to join me, sing just one song, and we'll look at the word of God. I want more of you. I want more of you, Jesus. The more I know you, make it a real cry. You mustn't sing the song. It's not composing to sing the song. Sing it out of revelation. Let that be the cry of every saint in this place. I want more of you. Yes, Lord, I've healed the sick. I've casted out devils. I've raised the dead. I want but I know more there is more. Teach me your way. Jesus, the more I know you. The more I know you. The more I want to know. The more I truly desire to know. Nothing else can satisfy. Nothing else can satisfy. 
feet say Lord touch me tonight I've not just come for a program please pray and say Lord touch me tonight teach me your ways show me something about your nature about your glory open up a window like my brother said cause my eyes to see something cause my eyes to see a reality in the kingdom help me sing more of you mysteries in the spirit. Lord, I express Once again, I want to welcome everybody. Hallelujah. Be seated in God's presence. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord. equipping us by the ministry of the Holy Spirit no man is able to do this it's not a scientific act of wisdom you can't write textbooks on this when it comes to transformation and impartation there's no textbook you can only give people an idea of your experience it's the ministry of the Holy Spirit to build men hallelujah Hebrews chapter 12 Lord, we truly love you. We truly love you. We truly respect you. We are a breed of men and women who mean business with you. Hebrews chapter 12. 
Hallelujah. I'd like us to read the first three words. If you have King James, almost all versions should be the same. Are you ready? One, two, read. No, no, verse two. Sorry. Verse two. One, two, read. People are all filled. Come down. I said the first three. How many? What kind of? Some versions are. You're reading amplified. Hebrews 12. Did I say Hebrews what? Verse 2. Just the first three words. Looking up to Jesus. Hallelujah. Is it, is it on your Bible? Looking on to Jesus. The author. And the finisher of our faith. Look up please. It's amazing how that many believers want to press into God. We want to be more like him. And um, many believers want to grow. We want to step into dimensions. Hallelujah. But then until you have a reference point. Are you following me now? Until you have a reference point. You will not know when you have become what you are pursuing. Hallelujah. Every time you are pursuing a thing, you must have a picture so that when you get there or when you get whatever you are pursuing, you will know you have arrived. Am I correct? There are so many believers who want to know the Lord, but we've not taken out time to examine his life. I've had very little teachings about the person, Jesus. I've had different teachings about the anointing. I've had different teachings about... Um, growth spiritual growth and all of these things but how come we want to become like christ and we never get to talk about him the only time they talk about jesus in meetings is crusades and they just summarize him and say all right I'll march to the front hallelujah if please appreciate the music director let me use this sir he's so smart hallelujah come on appreciate him <laughs> hallelujah now if my goal is to become like him hallelujah the more i see him are you following me now i look at his life and then i begin to see a need to conform my life to look like him are you following me now but if you do not see him you don't have an idea of what you are supposed to be changed into hallelujah so several believers in their honest and sincere pursuit for god are being changed into different things and what we are becoming does not look like the Jesus that we are trying to be. So different teachings and revelations are molding us to become different things. Because the object, our reference point, we don't even know the kind of person we want to be like. Who is our standard, the reference, the Jesus? We preach about so many things. Yet the central focus, the one who we are supposed to be like, we don't have an idea and so every kind of teaching forms us to become like a prophet an apostle a member of so and so ministry are you following me now a member of so and so denomination because you become like whoever is your reference point hallelujah if all you have to see is your pastor you become like him you'll be very fortunate if your pastor is like christ then you become like Christ. But if your pastor is not like Christ. Hallelujah. And it's important that in our attempt to press into the things of the spirit. See, the realm of the spirit is a very complicated realm. You can become anything. All you need to do is press. You want to be a herbalist, press. The method is the same. I mean, the requirements are almost the same. You want to learn how to still press. You want to know Satan more? Just press. So, as you press and say more of you, you suddenly enter a strange realm. And then you see many things that you can become like. And it's important to scan through. And several things will present pictures that represent success, greatness, achievement. You've got to drive them away and say, there's one I'm looking for. Give me a reference. The word of God has painted a picture 
picture that is in my mind and you are nice but you don't look like the reference i can use you you can guide me but i do not see you being the reference you are a good leader but i do not see the reference in you and suddenly when the holy ghost helps you you say this is him when mary began to look for him they were looking around and when she found him she said rabboni she knew that he was the one are you following me now so the first question tonight is who are you pressing to become like because we have molded ourselves in different fashions that in our sincere quest to love god we found ourselves becoming many things hallelujah there is only one standard that's why i started by reading it says looking up to who joshua selman koinonia yourself your pastor no no I, I i believe in the place of spiritual guidance are you following me now but i'm teaching you that for maximum transformation this is the dynamics of real transformation let me tell you something friends the best of every man on this earth is still a man are you listening to me the best of every man He's still a man looking up to Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith our reference point our gauge the true standard hallelujah you look up to Jesus to know what success should look like in the kingdom you look up to Jesus to know what progress should look like in the kingdom you look up to Jesus to know what fulfillment should be. Jesus Christ is perfect theology. He's the expression of the full intention of the Father for every man. When he came and walked upon the earth, the Bible says the word became flesh. God needed to give us a reference so that we would pattern our lives after that reference. And so Jesus walked upon the earth and he exhibited all the attributes we are trying to exhibit so if you want to be rich by the time you become a millionaire you look to jesus if what you have become doesn't look like who he is you followed another way and that means there's disaster are you following me now if you want to be anointed by the time you touch what you call anointing and it does not look like what you see in jesus christ then you know that you got something else it says looking it didn't say wishing or dreaming looking set your gaze on to jesus as you press it's a scene then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and let us run so hebrews chapter 12 is talking about the race the pressing he said but hold on paul had told them run so many of them wanted to stand around and say hold on I need to let you know that as you are running and as you are pressing let your gaze be on Jesus so that you will know you can appreciate your progress I follow me now you can know when when you are truly looking out to Jesus you will know whether you are growing or not hallelujah Paul said my little children in whom I travel until Christ be formed in you and so it's our greatest desire to be with him koinonia and the holy spirit is here to guide us and help us when we stay in his presence then we become like him and then when we become like him we are empowered to reveal him in our world Emmanuel. Emmanuel, your name is called, your name is called, Emmanuel, sing Emmanuel.
So it's our desire in this place that as God equips us for the glorious destiny he has for us, as he equips us to represent him, it's paramount that we understand that our goal is to be like Jesus. The Bible makes us to understand that the apostles, when they met Peter and he spoke at the Jerusalem council, they looked at him and they said, we know this guy. This is a, an ordinary fisherman. But he had been with Jesus so much that he was like him. When they went to Antioch, the people saw them and said, remember there was a man who behaved like this. He loved people just like these people are loving. He healed the sick. Remember that man that was crucified. Don't you see him being reproduced? There's a soup opera that many of you like about a man whose spirit entered another man. What do we call it? Second chance. His spirit entered another man and he started behaving like him. Is that correct? So when the spirit that was in Jesus comes and begins to find expression in you, men begin to see that the closest expression to the Jesus I can see is you. How come your love life looks so close to what I see in the world? How come your understanding is similar? Every time I read, see, if the people in your community read the Bible and they don't think about you, you don't look like Jesus. Because you should be the closest expression of everything they find. Colossians. Oh Lord, make us more like you. It's our desire. Make us more like you. Are you ready? Tonight the Lord is going to be walking on us very briefly. Hallelujah. The Lord is going to be walking on every one of us. God is building us, radically pruning us, and bringing us to points where we truly become competent ambassadors to represent his government. Our goal is not just to get ourselves spiritually enlightened. Nobody has received an award for reading Genesis to Revelation. Nobody has received an award for criming scriptures from Genesis to Revelation. All those who have been loved by God are those who have dared to make the word of God seated in their spirits so much that they become like him. Church history is full of men and women who were the representation of Jesus in their generation. Hallelujah. Colossians chapter 3. And I read verse 1. If you then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Verse 2. Set your affections such a powerful if you're ever looking for a scripture that talks I, i'm not done i'm just stopping because the scripture is really touching me if you're ever looking for a scripture that addresses true christian character and the life the exemplary life of a believer you find it in colossians chapter 3 and 4. so for many of you who have been crying and say god walk upon my character two chapters for you colossians chapter 3 and verse 4 have revealed the highest manifestations of Christian conduct. Set your affections on things above, not on things of the earth. That's what we call carnality. That's what we call materialism. Setting your affections on things on the earth and not on things that are above where Christ is seated. Verse 3. For ye are dead and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ who is our life shall appear. Then shall we also appear with him in glory. Verse 5. Now we begin. Mortify therefore your members. Listen look up. I hope you know Paul was not speaking to unbelievers. Hallelujah. He wasn't speaking to unbelievers. He was speaking to men and women who were going to shake the cities. He said, mortify, deaden. Let's read on. Your members which are upon the earth. 
Then he says, fornication, uncleanliness, inordinate affection, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. For which things sake the wrath of God cometh upon the sons of disobedience. In the which ye once walked when ye lived in them. But now put off all of this. Are you, are you there? Tonight God is going to be walking upon us. As I, as I read the list. I'll not be doing too much of talking. Let the word of God speak. Some things will be flogging you from this scripture. It will rise out of this Bible and hit you. Some are already hitting me as it hits you. Yield to that hitting. Tonight is not the night where you pretend as though it's touching your neighbor. Because I will share and then we will raise a cry. Are you listening to me? We want to truly represent the kingdom in its fullness. Let me tell you the proof that you are truly Christ-like. is not when you heal the sick. If you have to pray in tongues for your community to know you are a Christian, you are not a real Christian. Every time they see you, you display at your default the attributes of the Christ life. There's nothing as beautiful as seeing the manifestation of the gifts of the Spirit come upon a truly yielded life, full of character and expression of the fullness of what Christ is. Did you know that your lifestyle affects people even more than your, what you do on stage? Hallelujah. There are certain people that respect you today, and especially for we ministers, not because of the sermon you preached. You truly represented Jesus at a very default state somewhere that you do not even know. There are many of you that are treasured and held in high esteem, not because you've healed any sick body. Hallelujah. The man we call um, the great evangelist, Billy Graham, it wasn't recorded that he had many manifestations of the Spirit in his meeting, if he had any at all. We don't have records that he, of course, there will be pockets of miracles here and there. But he didn't seem to, in quote, as we will put, move in power, you know, have everybody lie down and say, okay, you know, this and that. But till today, there's no president in America that doesn't go to pay homage whether he's a Freemason, whether he's born again. What did that man show the world that compelled the United States of America to put it? It was it's almost a law. There are certain people that seem to command the attention of their territories because they are the truest representation of Christ. Has nothing to do with denomination. Has nothing to do with whether you are Orthodox or Pentecostal. Living faith, cooking celestial church whatever it is that's not the issue hallelujah so let's read on this is koinonia we are becoming more like him hmm. are you there verse 8 put off all of these are you ready to hear the this now all right anger anger oh of these dear ambassadors of the most high those who want to represent him put off all of this yes you are anointed yes you can heal the sick yes you are prosperous you are a multi-millionaire but put off this anger wrath malice Come on, anointed people. Malice. Hallelujah. I hope you like this teaching tonight. Blasphemy. Filthy communications. Ha, look up. Channel O. And MTV. And all kinds of media programs have cultured the language of many people, including believers. And so, it's true that you are born again. You are serving in church. You are anointed. I mean, all you need to do is blow the... And you see people just moving around. But evil communication. Your communication 
has made people question the anointing upon your life and people say i cannot reconcile what i see on stage with what i see around i can't reconcile it and the bible says so that this thing will not corrupt your being an ambassador lay aside even filthy communication let's read on lie not to one another verse 9 ah! nigerians lie not to one another businessmen lie not to one another prospective politicians lie not to one another those who are seeking favor from different people lie not to one another hallelujah seeing that you have put off the old man the bible calls all of these the attributes of who the old man and we have so many new creation people i have been crucified with christ hallelujah but when you are shouting new creation this is part of it you must embrace the entirety of it you can't embrace prosperity and wealth and anointing and power and charisma and then you refuse to embrace this because it wasn't written in the old testament for many of you who have a serious problem with the old testament here's a nice scripture centered around the new testament hallelujah a woman called an around tree we are trying to get her books so that we'll stock it in the library within the gates and the priestly bride i like studying on people who have been to heaven i love it we all love it because after the bible they are the closest that can say things that i like we have many noisemakers writing all kinds of books before they write the book they have calculated how much the profit is both upper limit and lower limit you do you really don't have a desire to bless the world and so we need did you notice that most if not all the people that go to heaven come back and write books free or audio I've, I've noticed this have you noticed that this is a trend when they come back to heaven they really don't want, even want to collect one naira i'm not saying you shouldn't let your ideas bless you so somebody is writing books now you say ah you have started with me no 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 write your book we'll buy it hallelujah but this woman was with jesus christ i mean literally in supernatural encounter we have a series that we'll be considering called supernatural encounters and we'll be playing some videos of men and women just like you and me who have walked some paths and realms where we're watching something uh, today in our house on a man who is transported by the spirit you know Philip's airways many of you call it we have real men who are doing Philip's airways not not imitation by our traditional people isn't that interesting and the guy said the Lord told him that a time will come we will need it hallelujah a time will come when they refuse to give us visas we say all right have a nice day i need to be at the airport in the next five minutes how about that if you don't believe this you can have a nice day honestly because this is we are training you to become this so if you have a problem with this mindset the lord is helping us in jesus name and this woman was with jesus christ throughout 2005 can you imagine throughout 2005 she was with jesus christ every day you know when i hear stories like this i feel ashamed of what i know that i call revelation because when they asked this woman i had to, I, I still have it i believe my laptop her interview with sidrot is supernatural and you know what this woman said when they asked her sidrot was asking and said why don't you love why did you ask him about power miracles the revival coming guess what she said she said i'm not interested ah joshua he stung me up me that have been pressing oh god reveal the seventh dimension of power here is a woman who has been with jesus for one solid years she has become so much like him that her priorities have radically changed if your priorities do not change in the presence of god you are not really changing hallelujah and now let me quote this woman she she said when she was in heaven she saw she entered a room and she saw the saints of old and the angels they were mapping out the strategy for the revival that is coming hallelujah 
so she was invited they invited several generals who pioneered the ancient revivals and were asking them what were some of the challenges why did some revivals get corrupted i follow me now and one of the issues that this woman raised was the issue of character many people corrupted these revivals hallelujah and so god is communicating to the entire fivefold ministry that while you are opening people up that's why we have miracle services we have time for impartation but as you receive the anointing on one side when you are about to run and say you see how much i'll make you in one month with this money as you're running god will hold your leg and say come back you have not finished reading it not too fast many of us are saying god give me this power and see all these millionaires people are suffering investment give me power but just one i know somebody that I can go and pray for a senator immediately is healed i'll tell him as you are healed collect uh, my bank account number hallelujah corruption and the man who is praising god suddenly begins to question you how many of you have been to a meeting and after a nice and powerful sermon they just begin to do funny things on stage that just kills your spirit you were so blessed i mean these people represented jesus christ so much and later on you see somebody with manasseh will just come and whisper something i'll say it's okay i'll address that and then as the air I mean celebrating miracles suddenly funny things begin to happen so i go and manipulate Jamfa, and i say Jamfa, just look straight there's one rich man there and because he has the gift of the prophetic it will work are you hearing me oh yes it will work let me tell you if we hold every one of you here i can tell you everything about your lives as the holy spirit grants grace that's the dangerous thing about the anointing hallelujah all we need to do is tear up the atmosphere and begin to pass mics around ourselves and you will see the accurate delivery of the word of god but what happens as i'm prophesying it you you follow this way and wait for me see let me tell you don't laugh about this the judgment of god is falling strong upon the church and god will prune and sanitize everything until we become a perfect bride a true bride that can represent him hallelujah and so a man gives a very pretty lady like this a wonderful word of knowledge you see the anointing walking and suddenly the remaining unrenewed part of his makeup just looks at her and ah now this lady is already kneeling down because he gave her a powerful word your name is gladys no, this i know her so it's not a word of knowledge <laughs> hallelujah and i know you your father is and she says yes yes sir yes sir you want to know more follow me you just leave and and then he says please tell me more about my life and then he says all right i'll give you time just get my number when are we truly going to represent christ in a manner that will compel the world to know that there is something about this christianity let me tell you if it's only miracles who used to change the world we are going to be in trouble because voodoo is warming up are you listening to me confucius you need to go to asia and then you'll be home you know all these manifestations we do and shout i tell you the truth they'll cross their legs and stare at you like this because when you go there to visit a man as you enter his room you see him hanging on the air have you had, have you gotten to that dimension i'm saying it will take more than the gifts of the spirit are you following me there's a place for that the world will see miracles hallelujah but i'm saying it takes more than that what if everybody in your environment is healed what else will you do how else will you represent christ we have so many men of god nice people but then later you go and you just bribe in the office it's on your table all kinds of evil activities happen and the bible is saying for you to be a true ambassador you must be there's no escaping there must be a thorough washing hallelujah so that who you are on stage and before people 
is who you truly are in the secret when you get to that point you are truly you are practically and experientially entered the dimension the bible calls holiness hallelujah can i preach this please and then we raise a cry and pray because it will not profit us completely if all we do is just worship him and give him all the praise and you know all of us because we are praying in the spirit and you know the wonderful thing about the things of god is that when you operate a particular law of the spirit you will get the results so as you pray in tongues and you are diligent studying the word what happens your spirit is being trained so you are anointed you come and stand and all you need to do is begin to pray in tongues and you see this dense presence of god but as that is happening what happens lack of character begins to arise that's why paul said i keep my body this body is stubborn you must keep it part of your ministry is to keep it hallelujah let's read on lie not to one another seeing that you have put off the old man and his deeds and have put on the new one, man which is renewed in the knowledge the word there is not renewed the word there is being renewed hallelujah in knowledge after the image of him that created him verse 12 put on look up the bible first told us what to put off you see the difference between jesus christ and our false prophets they tell you the problem but they never tell you the solution say there's somebody what is the solution put off all of these things that do not give a true picture of who jesus christ is how many unbelievers have backslided because we have misrepresented christ in our social environment hallelujah i once took a bus with a pastor some years ago and we we're going somewhere for a crusade and I was chartering a car, so I decided, I told him, come and let's ride together. And while we were riding, we got somewhere and wanted to enter. And um, they had blocked the place. They needed us to turn and it would be a whole walk. And when it was time to turn, I mean, the driver was about to turn and the security man said, no. The pastor just spoke through the mirror and conjured one lie. Ah, I was... I sat back in my mind and said, God, you know I love you. I really love you. When we finished, he looked at me and then he smiled. See, the difference between an unbeliever and a believer is that when you trespass the principles of God, the Holy Ghost, you feel the check in you. When you get to a point where you are comfortable with misrepresenting Christ, you need a retreat. Quick. Quick. Whatever it is that you're doing. You need a radical retreat alone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We must be thoroughly washed. We want the power of the Holy Ghost. We want the anointing. Many of us want to stand on the stage and have people come and hear you. Hear me, brother. If you're not thoroughly walked upon, the anointing that comes on you can kill you. You know, we like anointing. And you just pack it, see that, say, Manasseh, I need all the grace upon your life. Not so, my brother. Not in this revival that is coming. There are some things that you don't get by impartation. You walk it by your diligence and intimacy with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Let's read up quickly because I really want us to pray. And understand there will soon be a program in the church. Put on, therefore, as the elect of god holy and beloved are you ready now tender mercies kindness humbleness of mind meekness patience or long suffering he said forbearing one another and forgiving one another if any man have a quarrel against any even as christ forgave you do what if any man has a quarrel, ladies, even as Christ forgave you, do what? Above all these things, put on what? Love, which is the bond of perfectness. Let the peace of God rule your hearts, to which also ye are called. 
in one body and be ye thankful verse 16 let the word of christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing with grace in your hearts to the lord the last verse and whatever ye do in word or deed do it in the name of the lord jesus christ giving thanks to god and the father by him there is need for us and let me tell you something this is what i love about the orthodox circle you see let me say something let's assume this is orthodox and this is pentecostal so charismatic are you following me now the orthodox circle have done a great job in mastering the place of true christian character and morality that's why some of us who came from the orthodox background before getting filled with the holy spirit the remnant of that training still remains in us i follow me now and so many orthodox circles have rejected the side of the anointing i follow me now at the ministry of the holy spirit and they argue about tongues argue about all of this and live under the law and do all kinds of things but one thing i can tell you is that in many orthodox circles when someone is sick the next 12 20 30 minutes you see people rushing to come and greet him you hardly find that in pentecostal circles we always like celebrating when you buy a new car we can come to your house but when somebody is dead ah you are not supposed to die who wants to identify that's why in many pentecostal circles when their members die they send them back to the mother church they say go and bury them but when it's time to get married or celebrate a new post what happens i am your pastor are you getting blessed ah tonight's message the lord help us hallelujah and so both the pentecostals and the orthodox circles they are not wrong both of them are incomplete the revelations of christ are complementary not supplementary are you following me supplementary means you can replace one for another the holiness movement was not a wrong movement the word of faith movement was not a, a wrong movement i follow me now the charismatic movement azusa street was not wrong but the trouble is when we section out a movement and base our entire lives on it we find out that we are missing on other ingredients that are meant to give us complete preparation so we have men and women who are very holy and contrite and the world can attest to the fact that we love god but then the sick come and they keep getting sick people are poor people are not living the lives they are supposed to live and then we have on one side manifestations of the spirit wheelchairs and all kinds of things but when you talk about disorderliness and lawlessness you still find it there hallelujah and you see all kinds of things disorderliness there must be a sense of decorum and maturity a level of character and furnishment that the spirit of god brings in us hallelujah that's the reason why god is building us and equipping us so that we are not only anointed but we truly can represent him have you seen some people you always let me tell you the more you become like christ the more you are well favored everyone wants to be around you hallelujah have you seen some people every time they come around you you don't know when you have removed something to sow into their lives or every time they come you seem to respect them you may be older than them but there's a carriage of his presence you see the character of the spirit you do something they are supposed to swallow you up and when you come they tell you it's all right i can't pretend i'm not angry but it's all right and you're like what kind of person is this until your life shocks your community such that they can say what kind of person are you some years ago the holy spirit asked me to draw a graph and write the fruit of the spirit versus their manifestation in my life and i was working in power raw power when i wrote it i was i was disappointed to the core a lot of people say josh you're a nice person oh you are gentle you are this when i plotted that graph i received grace to i don't know if i tore the paper or not 
but it stung my ego because i said okay god so where is the ambassador hallelujah i choose to represent him in his entirety i choose to represent him that the same testimony that is given about me on stage should be the same testimony anywhere you know i i always share this and let me say it i was in a bus one time going to sabo hallelujah and in that bus there was an elderly woman then there was a the very little boy the conductor and he was shouting and just insulting everyone in the car you know you talk and you talk back and yell back and there was this elderly woman and i think she wanted them to reduce the price or something and this boy would not let this woman rest he was just shouting and murmuring and at a point i got agitated in my spirit i said can you imagine this boy this is this woman is old enough to be his grandmother and he's shouting and my old man wanted to just give this guy a dirty slap and suddenly the holy spirit put me in check and then when it was time for me to pay the bus fare he said ah uh, someone has paid when i turned back i saw one year and i remember i said god thank you you know how to cover cover for our weaknesses we'll explain later on how many of you have corrupted the things god is doing in your life by certain attributes don't tell me it does not matter are you listening to me don't let anybody preach any gospel to you that true christian character and conformity to the christ-like life does not matter it does oh yes it does when you are truly conformed to the life of christ then you find out God can trust you. God can bring more ladies for you guys so that you counsel them because he knows that there will not be need for an emergency meeting in heaven. Hallelujah. God can bring money. God can bring money or something and trust you and make you a millionaire. And know that there will not be an emergency meeting in heaven trying to manage what you have become. Looking on to Jesus. Looking on to Jesus. The author and the finisher of our faith. I call us tonight to a point where we begin to re-examine our character. There are certain languages that should not be found among believers. Hallelujah. And many of us use them carelessly and we are very happy about that immediately you finish using the words you say oh, Jerry, let's pray and someone is just looking at you and then you tell the person i think you need the baptism you say me if the baptism will make me like what i'm seeing i'm not interested hallelujah god is raising and training leaders you know why i'm saying this because god is going to be committing ministries into our hands God is going to be committing wealth to our hands. There are many people that when God blesses today, little financial prosperity, everybody around you becomes a slave. They must lick your leg and then we claim we are acknowledging God. God is bringing us to a point where we truly let our lives become windows. So on one side, you heal the sick cast out devils and manifest the workings of the gifts of the spirit and then on another side men see you full of the christ like life that they come and visit you when they bump into your house without invitation you will not need to arrange certain things and say where are these videos jerry yes stay back then you just bring up any him there is need for the manifestation of the christ like and let me tell you something there are two groups of people in this place those who say why did i come this night for this program i will be coming for only miracle service where there's no much preaching or those who say lord i contend for transformation i contend for transformation i i contend for transformation that's why many of you god has delayed you from running he has told you what he wants you to do you wonder why you are not ready on your mark set set has been for years when will go come when you hear this message and conform to it hallelujah 
as a lady everybody looks at you and they are seeing you very nice and pretty doing your hair and the guy just looks at you and says these are the kind of church girls that look like indisciplined ladies so the guy sags his jeans misrepresenting his maker and bouncing and coming and then begins to smoke in front of you and speak nonsense and says oh queen now, really hallelujah he comes to you thinking you are so cheap and he can go away with you then when he comes you get two chairs and sit him down and begin to expound scriptures more perfectly by the end of that exposition you, you either say two things i repent or all right i'll see you later you say what of my number i said no thank you the true testimony of, about your life it's not supposed to be heard among believers but unbelievers only unbelievers have the right to attest to the fact that you are living a christ-like life or not and as god gave me this message to prepare i felt like dying because i said god why do you give me messages that will flog me first on stage as i'm preaching right now i know the areas god is saying when you finish let's go and do our own finish your delivery how many of us are seeing the need to cry unto God and say, Lord, I need to conform. I've been looking up to many things and I've been gauging my progress based on aberrations and things that are not Christ. But we must come to a point where we align. Hallelujah. Looking up to Jesus. The Bible says, put off malice, bitterness. Don't say I was born like that. All of us are like that in our family. You step on my show, I match you and give you a piece of my mind and go back to sleep. That's how I am. I'm that kind of person. Then you must change. Because the Bible says, therefore, if any man is in Christ, he's a new creation. But you must press. That's why we worship him. As you worship him, you find out that the miracles you need in your life are not just bodily. You need certain radical levels of transformation. Let me tell you something. The more you are conforming to Christ, the more they want to make you a leader everywhere. In your department, in your faculty. There are many of you who just see someone who will come and say, Sorry, is there something I can do for you? I want to help you wash your clothes. You wonder why they are seeing something in you. Let the weight of your glory cover us. Let the life of your river flow Let the truth of your kingdom presence as a gift and you will be a living carrier of his divine presence every time you step into a place there is something about your life demons will attest to the fact that you are a true ambassador unbelievers even if they don't get born again whenever you step into a place you dilute that atmosphere and they change their confession to accommodate your presence in that environment that when they are trying to bribe the moment you step in if it's for three hours you make every unbeliever uncomfortable in that place until you step out at that point men can truly see jesus in your life 
and it won't be too long one day they'll say what is it about your life i know it's not about your words i i see that you represent love how come you love so much i thought you just used to fake it on stage but now i truly see that the love is in you how come you give so much i thought you're just trying to look for a name but i found out that is truly your nature how come you're so patient in a wicked world of impatience how come you're so tolerant these are the qualities that will make you anything in this life they have an attracting power they will compel anything to you a combination who will not want to be with a man who or a woman who loves who is patient who is tolerant we're discussing one day with Ejimi and he said something he said when competence meets humility is fearful when a man who is competent and then he decides to be humble is very painful it will inconvenience everybody and it will set a compulsory standard because when you see people who are better than you and you see them walking in humility are you seeing why ministers are supposed to really be an example because when people look at your life they cannot deny the grace and the workings of the spirit then they see the humility of the spirit they see the love of the spirit they are compelled to follow you as you follow Christ Paul said follow me even as I follow Christ hallelujah and tonight we are going to cry tonight is that night when we are going to forgive all the people we have been holding for ages hello father mother sister brother till I die no you you will not die but today you will let go are you following me now today is that day when you cry and say Lord this bitterness ends I can't be looking at my brother I'm anointed tonight is the night we are going to raise a cry and let me tell you something make this a real cry that's why we came tonight this is part of koinonia tonight we are going to be reaching certain conclusions and say Lord forever my life will represent love forever my life when we have this we will stop having broken homes are you listening to me we will stop having all kinds of challenges in our companies in our ministries we need to be more like Christ in the anointing and the manifestation of the spirit the same spirit that produces the outworkings of grace and power is the same spirit that brings in character rise up on your feet bless God for tonight's teaching the making of leaders the making of champions may be a hard message but it's part of the requirements to be a true ambassador Go ahead and raise a cry. Shata kabariya de kalabakoso tai. Le kabariya da basanda da bariya da dash. For every one of us, born of a woman in this place, there is need to cry tonight. Beginning from myself, there's something, an attribute of the flesh that we need to lay aside and pick up something. Tonight is not the night to talk about anointing. We are not talking about power. We are all great men and women in this place. Unforgiveness, bitterness, all of these things that cripple the manifestations. Go ahead, raise a cry. Raise a cry from your spirit. We want to present a perfect portrait, a perfect representation. We want to be true ambassadors, living epistles, testimonies. We want to let the world see Jesus in reality. Lost, corruption, all kinds of the workings of the flesh. Go ahead and raise a cry. Don't let the devil deceive you and say this does not concern you. Every ambassador in this place should raise a cry for the sake of his majesty, for the sake of his glory. 
Shakabaria da Bos Ne Caprondo Soda Balacaria Rakata Balada Basana Caria Ne Cababa Make sure you are praying, you are talking to the Lord and say, Lord, I have healed the sick. Many have seen manifestations of the Spirit. I can't deny that I'm anointed. I can't deny that I'm gifted. I can't deny it. But something about my life keeps betraying your kingdom. And tonight is that night. I lay it aside. Draw me close to you. That's a song of surrender tonight. Never let me go. Say, Lord, I lay it. I lay it all down. I lay it all down again. To hear you say that I'm your friend. Confession from your spirit. You are my desire. No one and nothing will do. Tell him, Lord, nothing can take your place. Dethrone every idol. Dethrone every habit. Dethrone every addiction. The power of God is present to set men free. the kingdom out of your life are you listening to me instrumentalists play your best class the symbol as we pray prayer point number one we are going to pray and say lord 
I lay aside lust. Enough is enough. I lay aside lust once and for all by the Spirit of God. As you make that confession, the ability of the Spirit is there to help you. I lay aside bitterness, pride and arrogance. I lay it aside. Don't let the devil condemn you. God will never condemn you. God will not condemn you. He's building you. Anytime you sense condemnation, cast it. It comes from Satan. Go ahead and cry. To be a real ambassador. Raise a cry all over this building. Raise a cry in your spirit. Say, Lord, I repent. Bitterness. Unforgiveness.
point. Please turn your Bible to Galatians chapter 2, chapter 5, verse 22. We are going to pray the fruit of the Spirit one by one. If you've not been praying, now is the time to pray. Please, everybody, if you came here with a Bible, if you didn't come here with one, share with your neighbor. We are going to be praying Galatians chapter 5. We need our world to see Jesus in his entirety in our lives. We are not indisciplined people. We love the Lord and we respect his government. We have a king and we have a kingdom. We have values and we live by those values. Galatians chapter 5. I'll read it once. As soon as I read it, worshippers go ahead and just worship and we'll pray it. But the fruit of the Spirit, in other words, the fruit that the Holy Ghost manifests through a recreated human spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, not short suffering, patience, it's called gentleness gentleness don't tell me I was born that way gentleness goodness faith meekness self control self control anything cannot be yes any road is not the road self control are you ready to pray and say Lord as I step into new dimensions I want to see a rich manifestation of all of these things. Go ahead and begin to pray. My life manifests the love. Go ahead and pray. My life is a manifestation of the love of God. The love of God. The love of God. The peace of God reigns in my heart. The peace of God reigns in my heart. The Prince of Peace lives in me. The Prince of Peace lives in me. Oh, I'm patient. I'm patient. I cast out every impatience. I am patient. Make sure you are praying. Take this seriously. Don't look at your neighbor. Pray. Gentle in the name of Jesus. I am gentle. The workings of gentleness is manifested through my life. The goodness of the Lord is being manifested through my life. The goodness of God. Make sure you are praying. There's grace for you as you pray. I am faithful. I speak it into my life. I am faithful in the name of Jesus. I am meek, humble in mind, humble in heart, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every seed of pride in me, I cast it away in the name of the Lord Jesus. I have self-control by the ability of the Holy Ghost, the workings of the fruit of the Spirit in my life is then manifested by the power of the Holy Ghost. That if these things abide in you, you will neither be unfruitful. These things abide in you. Say, add to your faith, virtue, moral excellence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sir, the Spirit of God is everywhere. Everywhere. Hey, all about the God. To meet your need. Tonight is a real miracle service. 
not just a name. It's an experience. Holy is the Lamb. The whole earth sing. The whole earth sing. Forget about your sickness. Forget about the oppression. And just worship Him. Forget about the doctor's report. Forget about the financial challenge. I don't care what it is. Hey. Sing holy is the Lord. The whole of sin. Creation sin. Come on, lift your voice. Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. The whole of sin. From generation to generation, the Bible says one generation will declare his praise to another. Holy is the Lamb, creation sees. Holy is the Lamb. of this country I'm aware that there are people who have come in all the way from Adamawa I know someone who started his journey yesterday let me tell you something none of you will be disappointed tonight are you listening to me no you have not come to a man I am is in this place I sense faith in this place tonight forget about your sickness forget about whatever challenge Growth, cancers, forget about it and let's worship him. Yahweh, hey, Yahweh, you are bigger than what people say. Yahweh, Yahweh, you are Yahweh, hey, Yahweh, Yahweh, no demon can stand this atmosphere. No devil can stand this.
himself was created by somebody are you listening to me the satan that people fear and dread he was a cre he is still a creation someone let me tell you a creation can never be greater than his creator oh satan was created at a time t satan and let me tell you according to the law of science hallelujah that everything that is created can be destroyed is what was not created that cannot be destroyed are you listening to me satan is at the very root of every sickness i want to provoke your spirit as we lose this atmosphere for my father to have a convocation through this place you will never 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 go back the same i assure you you will not go back the same hallelujah hallelujah i need you to understand that jesus christ is not a little more powerful than satan you know that's our mindset we think satan is great but then jesus christ maybe by two or three points are you joking the bible says there was war in heaven he didn't even fight it was michael that threw satan down when he went to the grave he said holy spirit you can go come back on the third day as a man i can take this guy Jesus did not go to hell with the Holy Ghost. The real source of his power. He said, this guy is too cheap. Spirit of God, wait. You can come back on the third day. Bible says, if that same spirit had resurrected Christ. Are you listening to me? I'm trying to provoke something in your spirit. Because in life, what you tolerate, you will never change. Too many people justifying sickness justifying oppression justifying setbacks you're not moving forward and you're justifying it tonight there will be an anger in your spirit and he said lord no way tonight i will hold on to you something about my life will be altered for good something about my life every devil i don't care what medical name it is called is a spirit Cancer is a spirit. HIV is a spirit. Hear me. Tumor is a spirit. Death is a spirit. I don't care what it is called. And the Bible says, Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him an identity, a name that is above cancer, above HIV, above high blood pressure. Said at the mention of that name. It is a negotiation will happen. Every knee. 
Come on, there are some knees that must bow tonight. Hey. There are some tongues that must confess. Hallelujah. Some things must end. The woman with the issue of blood came to him. She said, if I may but touch the helm of his garment and she was made whole. There is no impossible situation in this place tonight. Pack up that language of impossibility and kick it out of this place. Inside, outside. Many of you are standing. Stand because your miracle will, will locate you right there. It's like your GSM number. It can't enter two phones. It will get to you by the Spirit. Bible says for this purpose the son of God was made manifest that he may destroy put to an end until the lion roars every other animal can claim to be a lion oh but when the lion roars the difference is clear and can I tell you something he that is upon the throne is about to roar in this place like you have not seen oh yes he's about to roar and God will make a caricature out of Satan in your life in a way that will shock you tonight. Hear me. I'm not trying to motivate you. I'm not trying. I'm provoking something in your spirit. Don't justify any sickness. I don't care what it is. Don't justify any situation. Leave it from hand to mouth. Stop justifying it. Tonight is the night to press and say, Lord, for my family, enough is enough. Come on. Enough is enough. That you don't move forward in life? No, sir. That's why God put this miracle service. I'm putting a holy anger in your spirit until you get angry with where you are. Once you keep tolerating where you are, let me tell you, you will never move forward. When a baby is in the womb of the mother, for nine months, the baby will tolerate that environment. After nine months, the baby will say, time up. Time up. I need a change of environment. And brothers and sisters, there's got to be a dissatisfaction in your spirit. As I prayed and prepared for this meeting, I told the Lord, I said, Lord, I'm angry about some levels in my life. And you're going to shoot me like an arrow an arrow that's why God brought you that's why you're here tonight Bible says and Jacob wrestled Jacob said I won't let you go leaving you is not part of the options until you bless me Hello him Madonna 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 Elohim Madonna Elohim Madonna Elohim Madonna Isaiah 61 Ah, hello him. Ah, hello him. He's changing everything in obedience to Christ. 
My father is changing. Papo Sotaya. He's healing everything. He's recreating everything. He's transforming everything. I know him. I know him. He's changing everything. By his spirit tonight. God is changing, I tell you. Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me. To preach good tidings to the meek. He had sent me. These are the categories of people tonight. To bind up the broken hearted. To proclaim liberty. To the captives. To set them free. And the opening of prisons. Hear me. There are people who are in prisons in this life. All kinds of prisons. What do you call a terminal disease? There are all kinds of prisons represented in this place. But the spirit of the sovereign Lord like a mighty rushing wind is across the length and the breadth of this place inside and outside. And for as many who are streaming with us online, the Spirit of God turning every wilderness to a fruitful vine and every fruitful vine to a forest to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and a day of vengeance. There are people that need the justice of God in their life. There are people here that need what we call the vengeance of God. Our families have suffered untold casualties. Hear me. There is a dimension of God called his merciful dimension. There's something called the mercy seat. But there's something called the judgment throne. And hear me. Tonight there will be a decree of judgment. Oh. I know you don't like this. It's part of his nature. Some... There will be a decree of judgment. It's not enough for you to just get healed or get liberated. God who is just, must he must bring some justice in your family. Many of you will know the judgment. You will see the side of God tonight that will make you afraid. To comfort all who mourn. To appoint unto those who mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. Beauty for ashes. An oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise. For the spirit of heaviness. Said that they might be called the trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord. That he might be glorified. Isaiah 62 verse 1. Let me read a prophecy. About what God is. Let me tell you. God is more eager to bless you. Than you are to receive tonight. Believe me. God is more eager to bless you. 62. I don't know about you. But I'm going to put my name there. For Joshua Selman's sake. I will not hold my peace tonight. And for his sake I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness and thy salvation as a lamb that burneth. Verse 2. He said, and the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness and all kings thy glory and thou shalt be called by a new name. That's what the Lord told me. A new song and a new name. Thou 
thou shalt be called by a new name which the mouth of the Lord shall name verse 3 thou shall also be a crown of glory in the hand of God a royal diadem a royal diadem I believe I believe I believe oh Lord I believe Lord I believe do you believe your oppression ends tonight the sickness dies tonight. Do you believe the retrogression ends tonight? I believe they spirit just move in this place I like to just set your heart I need you to realize hear me that what is going to happen to you tonight is really not what God is about to do is the manifestation of what Christ has done in the cross are you listening to me until you realize that it will be difficult for you to receive God is not trying to bring healing He's trying to enforce in your life the healing that has been established. Hallelujah. Every miracle, every manifestation of the Spirit in this place is on account of the finished work of Christ. Say after me, the finished work. The finished work. Cancer died in Christ 2,000 years ago. HIV died in Christ. Hear me. Oppression died in Christ. Every name, every sickness, poverty, lack, retrogression, all kinds of challenges died in Christ 2,000 years ago. And let me tell you something. Satan is not powerful. This is a revelation that must be crystallized in your spirit. I don't care how many demons you have seen in the realm of the spirit. I have seen them and I'm still saying Satan is powerless. Hear me. Satan is only as powerful to the degree to which your ignorance or disobedience permits him to be. Are you listening to me? And so you must realize that is your right in Christ Jesus to receive that which the son of the living God has died for he died for your salvation the word salvation is the Greek word soteria and it is a very pregnant word it doesn't just mean salvation from sickness it means salvation from sin salvation from sickness salvation from poverty total package of redemption the total package of redemption hallelujah for death could not hold him captive even in the grave Jesus is Lord for death for death could hold him in hell no oppression could hold him when the gates refused to open 
there was a cry lift up your heads oh ye gates and be ye lifted oh ye ancient doors and they asked the question he said who is this king of glory there was a reply he said the lord yahweh strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle said the lord of hosts is his name so i need you to realize hear me you're not fighting with satan to claim yours to claim your no 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 there's no fight tonight we are stepping upon the established victory of christ jesus to receive by faith the fullness of the riches of the benefits of redemption that's why i like that song that says my faith is reaching out to you that you reach out that's all you need to do tonight for that sickness you need to reach out he said thou son of david i believe oh i believe don't start asking questions how will the growth disappear how did it come in the first place were you born you've never asked a question how the swelling came why should you ask how it will disappear don't ask how the leg will grow out that's none of your business don't ask how the ears will open that's none of your business that's the dynamics of the spirit the bible says for us you do not know the way of the wing or how bones are formed in the womb of her that is with child so you do not know the way of the lord i'm provoking you tonight I don't care what that challenge is we're going to be stepping by faith there are many of you who have been oppressed by demons demons torment you and oppress you i saw a lot of this in my visions through the week enough is enough are you listening to me the bible says we have been raised up with christ say after me i have been raised up inside outside shout it i have been raised up and i've been made to sit with christ far above cancer say it far above cancer far above infirmity far above causes far above death far above every spirit you are far above epilepsy oh yes so i don't care what sickness it is it's under your feet and you've got to enforce the revelation of the word of god one last scripture luke chapter 10. such a mighty presence of the precious spirit in this place. Luke chapter 10. When Jesus sends the 70 frail people with no power in themselves, the Bible says they went and they came back with a report. Verse 17. And the 70 returned again with joy. They returned with what? They returned with what? That's exactly how you are returning back to your destination. He said they returned with joy. They returned with joy. Saying, Lord, even the demons are subject unto us through thy name. And Jesus said something. In verse 18, I love it so much. He said unto them, I beheld I beheld Satan as lightning fall. I beheld Satan. I beheld cancer. I beheld infirmity. I beheld poverty. I beheld death fall. 
Hallelujah. So let your heart be set. Let your heart be set. There are many of you that need miracles in this place that only God can give. Some of you have come here with your medical reports. While we appreciate medicine as a contribution to help humanity, I'd like you to know that there is only one qualified person and he's the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. To end every tragedy, many of you have suffered all kinds of things. What people call generational curses, all kinds of delays, marriage delays, financial delays. I don't care what it is called tonight, but Jesus is Lord in this place. And He said, If I be lifted up, So God is going to step in in this place. The worship people got it precisely. They said, speak Lord. Brother, sister, when he speaks, everything will have to obey. When he said, let there be light, the Bible says there was light. So when he looks at you and says, cancer, go, it will go. When he says, favor, come, it will come. When he says, increase, come, it will come. It's what God is doing in this place. Even by His Spirit. So in one minute, i like all of us to raise a cry and tell God why you came here tonight. Inside and outside, come on. Raise a cry. Say, Lord, I have come for the healing of my body. Lord, I have come for the fibro to die. I have come for the migraine to go. I have come for my genotype to be changed. Get angry. If doctors say you are SS, say, Lord, that may be their report. Tonight, I'm leaving this place. Hey, hey. It's none of your business how it will happen. Go ahead and pray. That barrenness will die. If you are here and you've not had your child, even if you don't have a womb, stand up and pray. And say, Lord, I celebrate children. Hallelujah. I beheld Satan. I beheld Satan as lightning fall. I beheld Satan. I had beheld Satan. I beheld Satan. Oh, enough is enough. Enough is enough. I'm angry in my spirit. Brothers and sisters, enough is enough. It's time for you to experience the hand of God. It's time for your life to move forward. It's time for oppression to end. Come on, express yourself. Thank you, Jesus. I see angels in this place. Great angels. Many angels. Inside and outside. Several kinds of angels. Several kinds of angels. Ragababa, 
Hallelujah. 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 Watching a lady outside, outside, outside. Please, those outside, lift up your hands. I want you to bring that lady in this place. The power of God is going to come upon a lady right now as I'm speaking. Of course, there will be a ripple effect, but if you can locate the first lady, please bring her outside. A lady. See a healing miracle. Bring the lady here. And the Kabarada Basikatina Parekete Malataya Satan and your oppression over her life right now. I command those evil spirits tormenting you to go, 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 go. Hear me now. Listen. Listen, at the count of three, everyone here with a demonic case, whether it's madness, psychosomatism, devils oppressing you, hear me? The power of God inside and outside. Oppression will end right now. At the count of three, I see demons flying around the air. At the count of three, one, two, three, shake up a yakata. Oppression, go, go. I cast out devils. I cast out devils. I cast out devils. Bring them to the front. I cast out devils inside and outside. Inside and outside, set and go, 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 I need all of them outside. I need all of them outside. There are some people possessed with demons. I command you be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Inside and outside. All kinds of spirits. All kinds of spirits. All kinds of spirits. All kinds of spirits. All kinds of spirits are commanded out of you. Bring the lady. All kinds of spirits. All kinds of spirits. Out of them. 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 All kinds of demon spirits. All kinds of demon spirit, go out, go out, go out, inside and outside. Spirits of lust, come out, come out. All kinds of spirits out of them, out of them, inside and outside, out of them, out 
part of them those possessed with demons you are free now every demon you know my voice i sound an alarm in the realm of the spirit let god's people go let god's people go let god's people go let god's people go I see in my spirit, hear me, I see people who are dedicated, I'm seeing some people standing in front of a river line area, a river line area, and being dedicated to some kind of demonic things, right now. Katoso tepaka, rendo shopo kosupa, eko riaka paka, rendo sete paka, reke basika, amrata bateke te, reke te bo shopo. I command by the power of the Holy Ghost that you are free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see a lady who was sent in the occultic realm to come and stop this meeting when I come out to minister. How, how, can, you, how can you think like that? Now! 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 Deliverance! Now! Now! By the power of the Holy Ghost, let that demon go. I set you free. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do, and greater works. Jesus said it, greater works. There's one more lady. There's one more lady. I see the demons around saying they will not let you go. Let that girl go now. 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 The lady is outside. Let that girl go now. Let that lady go. Now, 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 Let that lady go now, now, let that girl go now I'm waiting for a lady outside The fire of God Not just the power The fire of God Is what will fall upon that lady Hallelujah. All of you here, Satan, I'm about to speak to all of you here, and the demons will go. Now, come out of them, all of you in front, come out of them. Now, now, 
I see in the realm of the spirit a snake. I'm not just seeing this lady, I'm seeing a snake. I don't care what you are. Go! 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 Go. That wicked look at what she's doing. I see the way she's behaving. Look at look at this. Look at this. See the way she's behaving like a serpent. See. Oh, fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you now. Out of her. 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 Come out of her. I set you free. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. We want to see you. We want to hear from you. cardiovascular issue, blood circulation issue, whatever it is inside and outside, I'd like you to lift your hands right now. Any heart problem, I don't care what it is. Lift up your hands because you're about to receive your liberty. Hear me? God is healing all over. Even before I mention your case, check yourself. Check yourself. You will find out that you're getting healed. Don't sit back, check yourself and run quickly. Meet the members of the media. Right here you will testify. So check yourself. Miracles are happening everywhere. Right now in the name of Jesus. Every home in the heart I command you to be closed now in the name of Jesus. 
every blood circulation problem I command you be free from it now in the name of Jesus heart condition be healed check yourselves now check yourselves breathe in and out do what you couldn't do do what you couldn't do there are healings I'm seeing it many of you are getting healed right now members of the media let them see you so that they can register their testimonies as many of you who are receiving miracles walk up to the ushers or the members of the media team there are miracles happening right now right now hallelujah hallelujah partial or total blindness if you're totally blind inside and outside or partially blind right now there are some of you that are not seeing me clearly but the moment i pray the power of god will come and 2020 vision will be restored believe me it will happen right now hallelujah just one shout inside and outside we are going to shout the name jesus lay your hands on your eyes if you have any issue of eyesight uh, eye problem just believe you will be surprised right now many of you as you shout jesus your sight will be restored inside and outside locate the people the ushers immediately make sure you check yourself are you ready to shout at the count of three we're going to shout and i see rapid angelic activities already in the realm of the spirit one two three vision restored perfect vision perfect vision perfect vision be restored hallelujah epilepsy is what i hear my spirit epilepsy does anyone Make sure you stand in not just for yourself but for your loved ones. Look at what is happening to this lady. Every devil. I see the spirit of epilepsy upon her. Now, come out of her. Come out of her. She's going to begin to cough out things. She's going to begin to cough out things. She's going to begin to cough out things. She starts coughing out things. She's going to begin to cough out things. You are free. The devil, the devil of epilepsy, leave her forever. Everyone with any epileptic issue, inside and outside, right now, I command you, be free, be free, be free, be free, be free from epilepsy, be free from epilepsy, in the name of Jesus. You are glorious, so glorious in your way. You are glorious, so glorious in the way. You are glorious, Lord. You are glorious, so glorious in your way. You are powerful, Lord. You are powerful, Oh, 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 oh,
was brought from Taraba. Please bring him out. The young man who came from Taraba. Is he here? There's a young man who came in. This is not word of knowledge. I got word that there's a young man who came for healing from Taraba. Hallelujah. As soon as you locate him, please let him come. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to pray for blood diseases. I see a number of people here with HIV AIDS. I see a number of people with um, infections, blood infections. Quite a number of people. As I pray for you right now, inside and outside, those streaming online and everywhere, you can hear my voice. Oh, okay. You're the lady. Oh, you're standing on his behalf. He didn't come. Oh, okay. That's all right. Come. You're standing on his behalf. What's wrong with you? Can we? That he has three uh, adverse drugs reaction due to three poisoning. Okay. Fainting, three poisoning. Stiff neck and so many other uh, problems. Blood poisoning. Uh, poisoning due to drip. Drip. Drip poisoning. Drip poisoning. Okay. He has kidney stones. Kidney and, stones. Yes. And he's fainting and stiff neck and he said extract her. So okay. many things. The doctors asked him to stay back with Joseph. He can't continue. I'm going to pray for you. You are standing on his behalf. And the Lord of glory will touch him. Are you listening to me? Right now, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, let him be free. In the name of Jesus, we call him free and we celebrate his liberty. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Blood diseases. Blood diseases right now. Everywhere. You can hear my voice. Every blood infection, I don't care what it is, from HIV to any other kind of blood infection, be healed now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now the last set of people I'm going to pray for then I'll just step back a little and just allow a few ministers to um, just minister as the spirit will for a while and then we'll come and just release miracles in mass and then we'll round up hallelujah asthma Janet is there a lady called Janet in this place inside or outside Janet, what's wrong with you? Can we have the mic? Are you well? I see. Do you have any problem with asthma or any breath problem? Yes. Please look. Hello, look at me. Can you talk? You're talking to the audience. Do you have any? What's the problem? Explain it to us. Sometimes my heart used to beat very, very fast. Your heart used to beat. And my body you have irregular heartbeats. That's what I'm seeing. Yes. Sometimes it looks like you are passing out. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Right now, 
Are you listening to me? Not later. Right now. You're going to be free. Look at me. Have I met you? Have we discussed on this? Have we discussed? The Lord brought you out right now. Right now, you're going to be free. Are you listening to me? Hold my hands. That devil, leave her now. In the name of Jesus. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, asthma. No, no, no. We're going to pray in mass. But since you have come out, in the name of Jesus, look at me. See, the power of God is moving through your body. My God. I see a devil. It's not just asthma. It's a demonic oppression. Come on. How dare you come close to me, Satan? Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. And be free. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just let her see the power of the Holy Spirit upon her. Totally free. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Asthma. Kapo satabariya kata. Every kind of asthmatic condition, hear me. The moment I pray for you, I like you to breathe in and out as hard as you can and do what you couldn't do. You will find out that you'll be healed instantly. There's an anointing for asthma. Asthma inside and outside. Are you ready now? Are you ready now? In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command asthma be healed. In the name of Jesus, be healed. In the name of Jesus, inside and outside, be healed. In the name of Jesus, outside yourself, begin to breathe in and out. You find out that you are healed right now. Right now, I see two ladies in the auditorium being healed right now. Two ladies, at least in the auditorium, being healed instantly of asthma. Hallelujah. Look at me, friends. I need you to know that there is only one personality who deserves to be glorified in this place. Are you listening to me? every of these manifestations are only but acts of god's grace and mercy through human vessels there is no champion in this place there is no celebrity in this place there is only one who deserves his name is jesus i like you to shout his name jesus! shout his name jesus! inside and outside shout his name experiencing over a long period of time excess flow of blood is not usual it's a disease excess flow of blood through your life excess flow out of your system where are you just lift up your hands it's a disease it's a disease excess flow of blood coming out of your system coming out of your body out of your woman i declare supernatural healing for you right now that lady there i declare in the name of jesus that that blood rise up now in the name of the lord jesus i declare that the power of the holy ghost comes upon you right now and that blood stops flowing right now in the name of the lord jesus I see in my vision a woman who needs a baby. I see a woman who came here in need of a baby. Where are you? Inside, outside. I'd like you to come. A woman you came here in need of a baby. Where are you? Come. I'm seeing in my vision a woman who needs a baby. Carry the baby. Come. Come. Mommy, I want you to know that Jesus is a miracle worker. And we stand here by the word of the Lord. We declare to you right now that the Lord gives you a baby now, supernaturally, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I see you celebrating with your baby now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. I declare that you take in supernaturally and bring for that baby in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I will see the Lord gives you a son. 
of you standing is married you're standing in for your auntie how about you my dear you're married all right i declare a release of a baby for you now i release this miracle to you take it in the name of jesus we declare that you give back to a baby supernaturally in the name of the lord jesus we hold on I won't see that the challenge is not with you. I know it's a social reason, but I see that it has to do with your husband. Am I correct? Am I correct? I see that the problem is not basically with you, but it has to do with your husband. But nonetheless, I declare a miracle. I declare supernatural healing. I declare that a baby be given to you and even more children. In the name of the Lord Jesus, take it in Jesus' name. And for you, we declare that wherever you're standing for, receive a baby in the name of Jesus. We declare it so in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a little child. I see a little child around the age of five. I don't know, but I believe that is somebody's family member here, a little child around the age of five, having certain challenge that has to do with his bone a male that affects his ability to walk it has something to do with his bone from speaking about your brother or your nephew i'd like you to just lift up your hands i see the angel of the lord bringing a miracle right now who is that person just lift up your hands the lord is bringing a miracle is your brother around age five okay i declare in the name of jesus that the Lord gives him a miracle. I declare that his bones are healed supernaturally in the name of Jesus. I see someone you're standing in for a relative, I believe, an auntie. You're Yoruba, she has fibroid. This person you're standing for has fibroid, and you're Yoruba. Who is the person? You're standing, you came in trusting the Lord. To heal your auntie, she has fibroid. Your sister, your relative, your sister. I declare a supernatural release right now. I declare that she's healed in the name of Jesus. I release that miracle to her. I declare that fibroid is gone supernaturally. And you return with a testimony in the name of Jesus. Okay, I also declare the same miracle for you. I declare supernatural healing for that relative in the name of Jesus. I declare that she is healed and delivered from fibroid in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare it so for you. I declare healing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Fibroid is gone by the anointing of the Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus. Put your hands on your eyes. I see the Lord wanting to heal your eyes. As I pray for you, you're going to check your vision now and tell us, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I declare that our vision is healed and restored. I release the healing power of God. You are healed now in the name of the Lord Jesus. You are healed in the name of the Jesus. Check it. Check your vision has been healed and restored. Check it. Just look what you couldn't do before. Check do what you couldn't do before. Just check your vision is healed right now. Check it here and then you tell us. I see someone your father works he does an industrial work and then as a result of that he has had certain challenge upon his health that came due to exposure to the nature of his work and it has been a serious concern to your family i don't know what that infirmity is but i'm seeing that person represented here your father contacted a challenge with his health as a result of his work where you just lift up your hands you are inside, you are outside, just lift up your hands. The Lord is bringing His power there in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare that your father is healed. Whatever challenge that come, came upon his life as a result of that industrial exposure, I declare supernatural healing to him right now. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I see a brother I see the Lord says there's a work of deliverance that God will begin to do in your family the brother sitting close to you sitting close to you I like you to lift up your hands I see the Lord says the spirit of the warrior comes upon you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus I declare that the deliverance of the Lord come to your household right now I declare that the spirit of the warrior come upon you take it now in the name of Jesus Jessica please I want to pray for you I hear the Lord says my trumpet of Jubilee is sounding over your family I hear God says I'm bringing a restoration I hear God says I'm bringing a restoration for there has been a conniving I see a connivance I see conspiracy that has been over your family over your father over your father particularly for many years but God says I'm bringing deliverance wherever he is and I'm bringing restoration God says your family will yet know joy in the name of the Lord Jesus God says he will perfect your mom he said he will perfect all that concerns her he says he will perfect her health in the name of the Lord Jesus I see many hands being stretched forth towards you to help you and God says for my light is upon you for favor for my light is upon you for favor I see a little child I see the spirit of infirmity come upon this child but the Lord says there's healing tonight a little child in your family a little child I see the spirit of infirmity come but the Lord says there's healing tonight father we give you praise we declare it turn around by your spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Please, is Shadi here? No, not you. Shadi, Shadi, our minister and her husband. If they are here, please let them come. I see the Lord showing me things about them. Father, we give you praise. We bless you, Jesus. We give you praise. We bless you, Jesus. We give you praise. God says for me to tell you that I have it all planned out for you. God says when he brought your, you and your husband together, he has it planned out for you. I see the Lord taking you. I see the both of you standing in a strange land. I see the both of you ministering, preaching the gospel of Jesus. And I even hear many people say that if in your house is deliverance. And I hear God says he brings upon you in a new way the spirit of sin and God says deliverance are yet come to many in the name of Jesus for I see many marching to your house and say that is the altar of the Lord for your house shall be called a house of prayer I see many coming to your house for prayer I see many coming to your house for prayer and God says I bring my fire upon your altar today upon your altar in the name of the Lord Jesus I said the Lord mentioned the name Kogi State and I said the Lord mentioned the place Akure I don't know what that means to you but I see that your feet will be established in that place and in that place you will be a chosen instrument for the Lord in the name of Jesus I don't know but I'm hearing the name Dili but Dili, or Dili is part of your name Dili, I'm hearing the name Dili, just come quickly. Dili is part of your name. Dili, I'm hearing the Lord. Give me the word Dili. For you, Dili, I hear the Lord says you begin to do a new thing in your life and even in your family. I hear God says I'm even extending. I'm attending to that financial situation in your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I see the Lord reaching out even to touch your mom. And God says, I perfect her health right now in the name of Jesus. God says, I perfect her health right now in the name of Jesus. I don't know, but I believe the Lord was speaking for him. 
be blessed. I release the blessings of the Lord upon your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I see in the vision, I I see like an electric pole, like an electric pole, a cable fall upon somebody. And I see that the enemy intends to have you electrocuted. I see that the enemy wants to attack somebody through electrocuting. And for this person, you have had this experience before. You, you have been terribly electrocuted at one point of your life. Terribly electrocuted. And I see the enemy bring that to you right now. Wherever you are, just lift up your hands. I avert that for you in the name of Jesus. I declare that that attack from the enemy is averted in the name of the Lord Jesus. I see somebody behind me among the sisters with an abdomen, abdominal pain. I ask right now that let the hand of the Lord touch you. I don't know who you are. But I ask that let the hand of the Lord touch you right now. I declare the healing power of God to you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That lady that came here, that was prayed for, that was convulsing. I see that you have challenge around your tummy area, excruciating pain that even come to you, especially around your monthly circle. I declare that that pain is gone right now. I declare that healing come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. genotypes and when apostle was ministering i see the angel of the lord doing a healing changing somebody's genotype by the behind a lady's genotype behind there by the left hand side and another lady outside the overflow i see the lord as you leave it just go try do some one or two checkups your test the lord is changing your genotype and you uh stand up during the prayers i see the lord doing a healing in your heart instead of doing a healing and i see the lord and an anointing upon you, even for the media again. I see an anointing released upon you so strongly upon you, and the Lord said He's going to, He's going to confirm that to you tonight. That what the Lord said. Then there's another lady that has HIV. You've been on drugs for some time, or for the past uh, one week you've been feeling. Any time you woke up in the morning to take your drugs, you always feel very disturbed. You always cry. I see a lady, a lady. For the past one week you've been you've been on drug you're have you an hiv positive you've been on drug for some time but for the past one week you've been having a lot of trouble in taking your drugs i see the lord healing you healing you then also you there you my sister there you i see the lord doing a work in your family over here me i see the lord doing a, 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 a work of restoration in your family and the lord is going to speak is going to perfect you in jesus name there's a guy that has a little challenge with the mind. A guy that has a Listen to a lot of rap. You used to listen to Tupac a lot. 
darkness can't sleep at night. Is as if the spirit of Tupac is coming. Yes. You listen a lot to this devilish music. Yes. Till now you still listen to it. Yes. In fact, if you don't listen to it, you will not sleep at night. Yes. You normally listen to it to go to bed. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Pakote Shatabalaya. In the name of Jesus, we command that foul spirit to leave you. Lose him and let him go. Pakote Palakata City Parataya. In the name of Jesus, you devilish spirit from hell. Lose him and let him go. In the name of Jesus, lose him and let him go. That's the person I saw. Immediately I was about to come up. That's exactly. And God told me that's where the mental thing came from. He has exposed to music. He's not the only one here. If you have ever been exposed to foul, devilish satanic music, you, you listen to it for years. I see God healing you right now. Lift up your hand wherever you are. In the name of Jesus, that foul spirit of Lucifer that is using music as a channel to torment this world. In the name of Jesus, lift them and let them go. In the name of Jesus, the Lord sets you free. In the name of Jesus. There's actually somebody here with a pain on your left knee, then another person on your right knee. For the one on your right knee, when you stand, usually when you stand, you feel so much pain. Who is that person? Please come out. Okay, quickly come out. I think there are some sets of people you've had um, a doctor's report, not a report from the bank now. Hallelujah. A doctor's report. Doctor's report. A doctor's report. Please, amongst the ones with the doctor's report, specifically somebody with two weeks ago, just roughly two weeks. The doctor's report amongst them, specifically, like two weeks ago. Who is that person? Hallelujah. Then there's somebody specifically, please look at me. You have pain just here. For those outside, I hope you can see just here, not exactly on your spinal cord, just by the side. If you're that person, quickly come out here too. And I began to receive in my spirit that God wants a lot of you to know you've been hearing people say a hey, yeah specifically to you, and you've been feeling sorry for yourself and you've been sympathizing for yourself. But the Lord wants you to rise. <laughs> the Lord wants you to rise. Hallelujah. The Lord wants you to rise. Those of you with the challenge with the knee, please just... For those with the doctor's report, man of God will pray for you here. Yeah? Knee cases, please just put your hands on your knee. Church, stretch forth your hands towards them. Let's pray. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, we speak to every knee. We command healing right now. Every knee, we command healing in the name of Jesus Christ. For the person with the right, the problem with the right leg, I said like healing flowing through your right leg in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now we speak healing to your leg. Healing every pain, let it go. We command it to go. For the person with the pain, back, I command that pain to leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every report, every devilish report you've heard from Satan, the Lord changes it in the name of Jesus Christ. Those that came out for the report, please step forward. Ah, Allah pam pam shakara patele na kumana na bakabanusia. Ila bravo sapa kaya la branda kapapa shakata raga na mada raga na ne bakusa kaya. Le brando sope le branda kapapa shakata. Just look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at me. Just look at my eyes. Just, just. 
just keep looking. Don't be tired. You don't know what is happening to you. Don't stop. You don't know why I'm telling you to look. Something is happening to you. Charles, look at my eyes. Just look. Look at my eyes. Just keep looking at me. says, I should tell you that I have set my eyes on you. Are you listening to me? The Lord says for me to tell you, I have set my eyes on you. Medical report or no medical report, I call you home totally free now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You need to be very serious with the Lord. You can't be one leg in and one leg out and expect Satan not to oppress you. Does this make sense what I'm saying? Does it make sense? Just yes or no? Are you listening to me? You can't be one leg in and one leg out and expect Satan not to get you. The things that I would want to do, I do not find myself doing. But the things that I don't want to do, I find myself doing. And Paul lamented and said, Oh wretched man I am who shall deliver me from the body of death. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I set you free. In the name of Jesus, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Totally free. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Inside and outside, just lift your right hand. Only your right hand. Only your right hand. Only your right hand. Just do what I'm telling you to do. Only your right hand. And I'm going to count four. At the count of four, there are certain people. At the count of four, there are certain people. Listen, the power of God is going to sweep inside and outside. And this right hand is a scepter of an unusual level of dominion. Get ready. One, two, three, four. Now, inside and outside. Inside and outside. On your right hand. Inside. Outside. Inside. Outside. It's an impartation. Supernatural dimension. Unusual kingdom authority. Unusual kingdom authority. Just keep your right hands lifted up. Keep your right hands lifted up. Keep your right hands lifted up. Kingdom authority. Step into it. Kingdom authority. According to the vision given unto me, let it be confirmed in this realm. I call it forth from the heavens. At the back, get ready. At the back, it will sweep like fire. At the back, get set right now. Outside, outside, it's going to be like a boat of electricity. Outside, I see angels outside. Say you will strengthen my right hand. A 
something a very very hot substance now please don't just come out we are not just i'm just doing what the lord is showing me 11 people hallelujah we are going to shout jesus and these 11 people such a dramatic power of god will come on you 11 people let's shout jesus one two three hear my spirit laughter hear me laughter in the spirit it will break out in a supernatural way I don't know why God is doing this laughter in the spirit laughter in the spirit Lord we release it now now hey now love time the spirits love time the spirits ay 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 ay
is a sign of victory. It's a symbol of victory. Of time spirit. Hallelujah. We have to hurry up. Now, hear me. I want to speak over your finances. Now, this, this is for everybody. Hear me. I just sense like cold water come upon my head. And the Lord said, that's the anointing. Release it. I don't want you to take this opportunity for granted. Brothers and sisters, God is going to change people's finances. If I be a servant of God, if Jesus is Lord in this place, under this unction, Kaladina Makabosikata. I'm going to shout one word. As I shout one word, miracles of financial increase, debt cancellation will erupt. Everybody be humble enough to receive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm just going to shout what I see in my spirit inside and outside. Change. 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 That's what God said as you shout. Change. Change. I invoke it. Change. Change. Over your finances. Change. Change. Make a barrier.
very quickly I want to release miracles in your academics every student here now is the time to change your status lift your hands inside and outside oh it's not by power don't let any man fool you it's not by might for death walks in us that life will walk in you Kaposo tope riakata, ran teke teke tevaka, baso porukasa. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command you increase in your academics, break new grounds. I command, be the best, be the best. Jesus I command now a supernatural dimension of intelligence receive it in the name of Jesus right here I command the release of first class students receive it sickness represented in this place that we did not mention you came for miracle service come out you came for miracle service every sickness every infirmity represented right here in this holy and sanctified atmosphere right now be healed in the name of Jesus outside be healed in the name of Jesus cancer die in the name of Jesus migraine die in the name of Jesus fibroid go in the name of Jesus blinded Hallelujah. That's what God is doing in this place. Hallelujah. The last thing that I'll do is to prophesy all round increase. All round increase. Amen. Listen. I know that we trivialize and we casualize things because we just speak, receive and move forward. I don't do anything except the Lord shows me. Hallelujah. A miracle service is put to upgrade your life, my brother. It's meant to upgrade your life. Therefore, inside and outside, 
release your faith one last time as I send this prophetic word into your destiny and Isaac said of Jacob he said the smell of my son is like the field that the Lord has blessed therefore right now under this supernatural unction of the spirit inside and outside my brothers and my sisters let me tell you there is an anointing that brings increase don't let any man fool you you can try you can sweat you can calculate but there is an anointing he said because thou lovest righteousness and hated wickedness therefore god even thy god has anointed you with the oil of gladness above thy fellows and in the name of jesus i command increase on every side increase on every side increase on every side in your finances increase in your relationship increase in your academics increase in your spiritual life increase in your ministry increase in your business increase in your plans and goals increase in your groups and fellowships increase I release it upon your life a signature that symbolizes the hand of God therefore let there be a mark of greatness upon everyone under the sound of my voice you are tonight from tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost you are marked for supernatural greatness you are marked for supernatural greatness. I don't care what your family background is. Hear me. I don't care what it, the name of your village is. I don't care what has been spoken over your life. Every decree that is against the decree of the world over your life and destiny from tonight be free in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are free from your past in the name of Jesus. You are free from stagnation. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Make progress. Break new grounds. None of you is permitted to remain where you are. Go forward. Go forward. Every Red Sea standing in front of you. Everything that symbolizes a mountain of impossibility. Under this unction of the Spirit. Right now. I command be free go forward every oppression over your family that will not let them enjoy everything Jesus died for tonight I command for your families step into a higher realm Amen. in the name of Jesus every member of your family who does not have a job I don't care what the person's qualification is if God be king of kings and lord of lords I release miracle jobs now for yourself and for your loved ones receive it in the name of Jesus And every of your family members that is due for promotion and has been kept back 
I don't care what the limitations are. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we promote them. In the name of Jesus, we promote them. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to come against marital delay. Delay in relationships and marriage. Hear me. Inside and outside. According to Isaiah 34. Verse 16. It says seek out of the book of the Lord and read. None of these things shall fail. It says none shall want her mate. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken right now i declare there are many of you that your loved ones at home are they are advanced in age and there's no one to get married to them and they're giving all kinds of nonsense explanations for it came to pass that on that day esther passed the king once when she passed the king once that she obtained favor let me tell you something. No barrenness shall be found in this camp. So hear me. Right now, under the unction of the Spirit, supernatural marriages, supernatural relationships, receive it in the name of Jesus. Hear me. Don't let the devil fool you and make you think this is not necessary. I said receive it in the name of Jesus. I see a family of four and I see another family of six ladies none of you are married hear me if God be God an end comes to this oppression tonight in the name of Jesus until the spirit be poured up from on high and then the wilderness be counted for a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine And every other request that you came here with hear me inside and outside I don't care what your needs are many of us came with different kinds of requests right now I pray that you receive solution to every problem whatever challenge you came here with we end it here in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Amen. very quickly listen inside and outside everyone who can hear my voice you've not made Jesus Lord of your life please let me have some space here this is the greatest miracle all of these signs and wonders and miracles are for a reason the Bible says for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son he said that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life he said come unto me all ye that are weary and heavy laden and i i alone will give you rest there are so many of us seated here outside and some of us passing some listening from our homes you need jesus christ enough of struggling with sin enough of struggling with the flesh enough of being a victim of the oppressions of satan and right now i'm going to invite you i like all of us to rise up on our feet as we honor this great salvation inside and outside for jesus the lord of your life i like you to run inside right now you want to make Jesus Lord of your life. Come on inside and outside. We are waiting for you. Appreciate them as they come. Enough is enough. Appreciate them, every one of them. Let them find their way. Jesus is the way. 
I appreciate them as they come inside and outside. Inside and outside. Don't stay back. He's calling you. Come on. I appreciate them. We love you. Welcome home. Inside and outside. Harden not your heart. Jesus is calling. Please, ushers, help the people outside as they join this loving family of victorious people. How long will you struggle with the Holy Spirit? Jesus is calling. Jesus is calling. Appreciate them as they come. Come to Jesus. Leave your seat and run to Jesus Christ. He's the only hope. The only one. Every other plan will fail. The Holy Spirit is still convicting more people. Don't stay back. Harden not your heart. Run to Jesus Christ. We are still waiting for a few. We are still waiting for a few. Young and old. Come on. Leave your seat. I see a number of people outside who should be inside. By the Spirit of God, I call you to come forward. I call you to come forward. By the Spirit of God, I appreciate them. They are coming. Those of you outside, I see the Lord showing me people. By the Spirit of God, I call you. I call you by the authority of the Spirit. I call you by the authority of the Spirit. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above the earth's Lord. Jesus is the way. Hallelujah. Now look at me. Hallelujah. I want to congratulate every one of you for coming here. Hallelujah. Look at me. I hope you came here by revelation and understanding. Hallelujah. That you need Jesus Christ. I don't care what it is you have done. Are you listening to me? No one condemns you. There is love in this place. Are you listening to me? For the Son of God did not come into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. John 3 17 I pray for you right now hallelujah that the power of sin and Satan over your life be broken now I'd like you to say after me dear Lord Jesus I like you to it's not a special number it's a very serious destiny dedication are you listening to me say after me dear Lord Jesus I believe in you I believe you came to the earth you suffered for my sins you died for me you resurrected for me I've been living my life by my own strength but tonight I lay it all down and I accept you as Lord of my life I receive eternal life into my spirit I denounce sin and Satan I declare that I'm born again I'm a child of God I have the resurrection life living inside of me I'm a member of the family of God and I declare that my life will bring you glory in the name of Jesus I appreciate them for this wonderful wonderful miracle hallelujah I pray that the Lord will keep and preserve you spirit of the living God I commend these ones to you you are the only faithful caretaker who can take care of the inheritance of the father I commend these ones to you the staying power against sin and against Satan against diseases and all oppressions of Satan in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah congratulations now I'd like you to do something very quickly just rise up congratulations every one of you thank you for making this wonderful and very glorious decision I'd like you to just follow the ushers they'll have your information 
and we'll just follow you up as the week goes by. I appreciate them. It's a glorious miracle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come. Okay, I got, let me pray for you. I got your Let her go. Now. Let her go. By the authority of the spirit of the living God. Mm, I see movement in your body. Interesting. Kabata Kosoto Brandeketia. I bring you life, healing, power by the spirit of God. For you and for your loved ones. You are free in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos. Kate Branda Katapa Kotos Koto Prekateka Nekata. The face of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.